a reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, they cannot write. Let us be set the just, just ones, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violation of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censor of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us. Because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways, he, ju he judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness, and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. For these were their thoughts, but they err, for their wickedness blinds them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Amen. Be hearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When they just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord is close to the, to the brokenhearted. And those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just men, but out of them all the Lord delivers them. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems and lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. Lord, 